It's only a coincidence, but our current heat wave comes on the heels of a massive explosion on the sun. And while that solar blast doesn't affect our weather, Alex Dimitri reports eruptions on the sun can have an impact on Earth and us. Just looking up, you would never see it. But early Tuesday, using a new satellite, scientists saw a spectacular explosion on the sun, a blast the size of 500 Earths. One of the things that's, that's so exciting about this event is just the scale of it because of the fact that it fits over almost half the sun is, is bombarded with this material. Viewed in a variety of different light waves, much of what was thrown out was drawn back to the sun's surface. But most of what was ejected is streaming out at millions of miles an hour. Fortunately, this event was sort of directed off to the side. So there is some of the material that's traveling towards the Earth, but most of it is directed away. So it's going to have a kind of a glancing blow. That will likely mean northern lights for some, but little else. It's a different story when blasts called coronal mass ejections hit the Earth head on, stretching its protective magnetic field like a rubber band. Then things get serious. This could knock out power grids. This can cause deterioration in pipelines. We'll also see disturbances in GPS systems and various types of telecommunications. When it comes to weathering solar storms on Earth, the more warning, the better. So NASA researchers have been building and launching ever more advanced solar observatories and closely monitoring them, especially as the sun moves into a more active phase. We have a couple of days warning, uh, and then we can take whatever precautions are necessary. Because not all future eruptions will be glancing blows. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. The sun goes through 11 year cycles of quiet and increased activity that more active cycle is underway right now.